Then I get this call from John Laurinaitis. He says, uh, we have nothing for you. That's it. But there's another story behind that. Because and um, with all the allegations going on with the WWE right now and uh, John Laurinaitis and Vince McMahon, believe me, guys, I was a part of it. I got treated a certain way and I was fired, not because of my wrestling, but for other things. And uh, it was personal. Is there anything you want to talk about, though, about current state of wrestling as far as the Vince McMahon allegations, anything that maybe you saw or anything you were part of? If you don't, we don't have to go there. But is there anything you want to discuss? Guys, when you take a stand in life and you're a man and you speak your mind, you're never a sheep. And in the wrestling business, like, you know, Mike, they just like yes men. I was never a yes man. They always told me, Vito, if you just kiss a little ass, you could be world champion. And I was that good of a wrestler. I was a great wrestler. I don't take a backseat to nobody. You know what I mean? And I'm not just saying that to boast. I mean, Mike Moraldo here knows my capabilities in the ring. He remembers Skull Von Crush. He remembers Vito from back in the day, you know. And um, I always took my pride in my wrestling. And then when you're exposed to the wrestling business behind the scenes in the big time, you see a lot of things and you witness things and you see things and you're like, okay, do you, do you speak about it or do you keep your mouth shut? The culture is what happens with the boys stays with the boys. I saw a lot of things with John Laurinaitis. I saw uh, things with Vince McMahon. I saw a lot of things with the writers, how they treated people, how they acknowledged people, how they interacted with people, how I was interacted with during the dress. Um, all I could say, guys, and, and I speak for this for, I'm going to, this is real life. Guys, if it was your daughter and somebody did the stuff that they talk about to your daughter, what would you do? Mike, you have, you have a beautiful family. You have two beautiful daughters and somebody was to harass or do something to your daughters. You're not a physical guy. You're not a violent guy, but you're going to stand up you know, and you think about it, it's the same thing when you're a victim of something and you're, you've are you been harassed and humiliated and you, you treat it a certain way, guys, you just take it as it comes. You don't say much. You don't give everything out. You just wait and you sit for the right moment when you're asked to present something. It's the best way I can explain it. 